everyone, and welcome back to the forest. As we last left off, uh, we had just found this uh, mysterious yacht floating out in the water here, and we had uh, found a turtle shell. So our next step is to return back to the base so we can build our water collector. So I'll see you once we get back home. Ah, uh, finally. After a long walk, we are finally back home. Now to find now to finish building that uh water collector. One more stick. And voila. Now the next time it rains, uh we'll get some water. How are our plants doing? They're doing alright. They've grown a little bit. That's nice. I think our next uh task that we should do is uh maybe get another log full of or another log full of logs. Another cart full of logs. Uh, for the cabin. Oh, also, along the way, I was able to find a neat old pot. So now we can use that to boil up some water. Or whatever else. I think you can also make stew with it. Ooh, a deer. I, along the way, I was getting better at throwing the spear. So let's see if I can hit it. <coughs> yeah, I got it. First try. All right, let's get some deer meat. Put that on the fire. Nice roasted deer meat. We also have a deer head. We could mount this eventually, once we have the house built. Where's the drying rack? Where did I put it? There it is. Yeah, let's put some on fresh meat up here. Put it there, put it there. Also take these dried fish. Oh, can't carry any more dried meat. Take that one. Nope. Put up the raw meat. There we go. Then we can take all that. Do we have any raw lizard? Here, let's put this up. And voila. Now we're going to have lots of food for later. I can take that fish. All right. Now let's get to chopping. I should use this axe instead. All right. Let's fill up this cart. Oh, Jesus. Alright, well. Didn't expect that to happen. Right, try and write it. There we go. Alright, back to chopping. And we got another log full of carts. Another, oh, I messed it up again. Another cart full of logs. Lardy. All right, I'm gonna place all these on here. Make a little progress on our cabin. Oh, did not mean to do that. All right, and now we only need, quick math. That many more, yes, we need just that many more, all right. So now that we've made some progress on the cabin, I think the next thing we should do is go ex do some cave exploring. Because there's a certain item I am wanting to get today. Uh, the chainsaw. Now, of course, uh, before we can go and get the chainsaw, we need to go and get another item. The climbing axe. Alright, I'm going to go uh, head on over in this direction. Uh, in order to go find the cave entrance to where we can find the climbing axe. And then once we've uh, gotten that come back here and we'll go just over there and you see that small rock outcropping there there's another cave entrance there and then we should be able to get the chainsaw all right and finally after getting lost a few times and running out of stamina we are finally here at a location I like to lovingly call the hole because as you can see it's a very big hole in the ground. Now the cave entrance we're looking for should be just along the rim here. So I'll come right back once I've found it. All right, and there it is. There's the cave entrance. And just to show you how far it is from where we just were, we were just right over there. Let me get the spear out so I can kind of point at it. There, at the tip of the spear, kind of see right there. Yeah, oh, 
this works much better. Right at the tip of the spear, we were basically right there, and it's all the way over here. So if any of you uh, are playing this and want to uh, find it, uh, there you go. You can also find it by looking for this uh, like land bridge that you know kind of separates the lake and the island from the ocean. So yeah, just look for the tents and. Now we're going to make our way down into our first cave. It's going to be exceptionally dark, so let's make sure we have our lighter out. We might also run into some uh, mutants. Mutant cave people. Lovely. We can also just slide down here. Slide down the rope. Getting immense rope burn, but you know, it doesn't phase him. So here we are down now. We got a bunch of skulls. Lovely, lovely. A uh, bunch of cages as well. More skulls. Now skulls are useful for they can create one of the best light sources in the game. The uh, skull lamp. Now if I can just find it. Ah, there it is. See the skull lamp. Three sticks, one skull, and five sap. And the reason it's so good is, well one, it's pretty cheap on resources. You can find sticks everywhere. You get a ton of sap from chopping down trees. And well, skulls are everywhere in the caves. Uh, another bone, a great feature about it is it never, uh, burns out. Much like the standing fire or any of the fires, they eventually need to be relit or just burn out entirely. So that's what's so great about it. Now this rope here, whoa, whoa, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, well I guess we don't need to take the rope then. This one we do, however, because this one's a long way down, and I don't... Uh, plan on breaking my ankles today. Maybe tomorrow, but not today. Right, here we are. We're at a little underwater cave. Now we're gonna have to dive under here and quick pop right back up. And kind of tell where we need to go via the somehow working light. Just heard some squishy noises. I think we've come across our first enemy. The, the mutant babies. So quick way to dispose of these weird things is to take a Molotov cocktail. Oh, no. Take out your lighter. Light away. Wait for them to group up into one area. Don't worry about it exploding in your hand because it just doesn't. Alright. That's two of them. And there's still two more. Oh, great. So we needed half a job. Okay, so we're gonna pop out our... Nope. There we go. Let's make another one real quick. Finish them off. Because they can actually be pretty uh, deadly if you're unprepared. Alright, so that's like this one. Get it right in the middle between those two, and that should be it. Alright. Now this rope we can skip, so we can just kind of pop on down here. Let's see if there's any good uh, loot here. Don't catch on fire. Sadly, we can't pick up these pots for whatever reasons. Oh, look at that! Marshmallows on a stick. I guess we could roast it over a flaming baby. <laughs> Gas can. Pretty useful. Another light. Oh, come on. More gas can. Now, yeah, this way. You need to go through here. Squeeze through this little rock area here. And now... Right, squeeze through. We are now inside of... Well, you can probably barely make it out due to the night. But we are now on the side of the giant hole. Now, gonna carefully uh, sneak our way over on the left here along the uh, edge. So we can make it to the next little rock uh, hole. Like the one we just crawled through. Oh, look! Bunch of alcohol and uh, medication. Pretty handy. Couple old cots. Jesus, there's a lot of sticks. Too bad I'm all full on sticks. I don't need any more. Oh, flares. That's pretty handy. It's just a picture of an old tree and an X. Hope there's buried treasure there. Otherwise, that's pretty useless. Soda. All right. Drink some soda. Getting pretty thirsty and low on energy. Okay, just 
gonna loot this area real quick. Lots of sticks. That's about it. All right, we're gonna squeeze through here. Uh, come into another little cave area. There's some more water, but don't. Luckily, we don't need to dive under anymore. Come up here. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be more enemies coming up soon. Uh, this looks like a skippable rope. Right? There we go. Okay. Up down there. It just saves time instead of having to climb down the rope. Oh, yep, there are enemies. All right, let's quick make another Molotov and eat whilst we can. Oh, that spoiled you. All right, eat some fish. Quick Molotov. There. Oh, yep. Let's quick light this Molotov. Hello! How are you doing there? Take that. All right. Now let's poke some... No, I did not mean to throw it. Come on, poke. Poke the... Ugh. Poke him. Oh, you silence. All right, yeah, run away. I don't care. No, don't touch my rotten lizard. All right. Ah, Jesus. All right. Take out the... Ow, ow. Just uh, take some medicine. No, 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 no. Gotta run. Um. Okay, this is not going well. Not good at all. Okay. Let's just take a moment to breathe. Mm. Oh, sh there's another baby. Okay. Uh, all right, we're healing up with the pills. Ah, dodge him. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Take him out. All right, I think he's down. All right. Shit, there's still a baby. Okay. Take it out. Good, good, okay. Oh no, he's still up. Shit. Ow, that was a bit loud. Dude, we're in a cave. Shush. All right. So we came super close to dying just now in our first real combat. I think I... I have all this armor I could have equipped. Jesus. Ugh. All right, so I think this area is cleared out. Um, hello, sir. How are you doing today? Just hanging about? <laughs> uh, I'll leave. I'm sorry. All right. And now, again, we have to stick real close to the left side here because otherwise uh, we'd fall all the way down there and that would not be very helpful. And would probably break our legs. Squeeze under here. Go across here. Here and find more skulls. Handy. Don't need them right now. We have another person hanging. Take their watch, of course. Now there is a little cassette down there I want to get, so we'll just quit. Hop down here. Take that. Now normally, uh, if you had hopped down here, you'd be basically screwed over, and you'd have to climb down there and climb your way back up and all that. But I found a little way you can just kind of jank your way up the wall by just repeatedly jumping and eventually boom you make it right back up and then you can hop right back across like you need to go walk across this little rock bridge oh and there are more enemies just around here let's make a couple molotovs in preparedness uh get it lit and ready now as soon as we see the whites of their eyes we just throw Hello. Oh, there they are. Take them out. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. Let's get back to safety whilst I light another Molotov. Hello. Whoop. They're jumpy. So am I. Oh, lordy. Oh, it did hit him. Great. I'll take that thing out. Get a couple swings on him. Ah, another one. Great. Oh, 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 oh. Is he down? Stop swinging, idiot. Alright, he is down. Took care of the weird things. Little squidgies. Hello? Oh, there is someone else. Uh, just excuse me one moment whilst I prepare another. Ah! Hey, 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 hey. No, stop that. You're rude. 
I said to stop and wait. Oh! Well, bye! I don't think we're gonna have to worry about him. Why do I still hear his footsteps? Is he down there? It doesn't matter if he's down there, he's not up here with us, so... Okay! That one went a bit better than the first encounter. Uh, so alright. And now, here we are. We can see the light is shining on the wall. Oh, we got a nice little piece of... Oh ho! Nice little uh, hint towards the chainsaw. But now we have the climbing axe. Now we could climb all the way up here and uh, exit through this way. Which I think I'll do just to demonstrate how the climbing axe works. So to use it, you you know, get off the wall. All right, you equipped it, and then uh, on any wall that looks like this, you can just press E on it, and then you know, W to go up, A and D to go left and right along it, and S to go down. And then you just climb on over here. All right, are we there? No, I think we still need to go up a bit. No, wait, no, I was there. Where am I? It, it is kind of hard to tell where you are in relation to the wall and ground, maybe. All right, and then once you're over safe ground, you can just press E again to release. And there we are. Now let's make sure we have our weapon out, because from this point on, I don't exactly remember what... Da, 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 da. I don't exactly re remember what's up ahead. But from those noises... Why, hey, buddies. Ah. You know what? Uh, let's go the safe way back. Oh, he, he jumped down. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. No, I'd rather not. No, let's uh, back up. Let's just back up. Safely. There we go. Okay. Okay, you know what? Yeah. We're gonna go back the way we just came. Go up. Go away. <laughs> They're still coming. Yeah, try making that jump. Ha! Idiot. Alright. Yeah, so we're gonna go back the safe way. The area we know is cleared out. Because I don't know if we'd uh, survive another encounter. So I'll see you all once I make it back to the cave entrance. Well, the initial rope, I should say. Alright, and here we are. Climbing up the rope to the entrance. And... Now, we're back outside. Oh great, and it's still dark out. That's just great. Alright, so now we have to make our way back home. Uh, so we can make it to the chainsaw cave entrance. Alright, and here we are, uh, just on the other side of the river, right where that rock outcropping was, like I said earlier. Oh look, a little photo. What's this one of? Uh, another random location with an X. I guess eventually I should head to these locations and see what the hell those X's are, but uh, not today. Alright, so now let's go get the chainsaw. Alright, so we're going to squeeze on in here to this little rock area. Whoop, little lag spike as it was loading in. Alright, squeeze through here, through what I would call the meat. Come on. I hate it when the lighter goes out because then you're just left in complete darkness. There are the jump scare bats. Lovely, lovely. Alright, come on through here. See a couple people uh, hanging. Just hanging about. Some money. And a piece of Timmy's robot. One of the toy's arms. Nice. A plane seat. How the hell did that get all the way down in here? I don't think the mutants would have just dragged it down here. Alright, and here we are at the climbable wall. Now, getting down is the easy part. You don't need the axe for that. But the getting up, that's why you need it. Otherwise, you'll get stuck down here. So we can just drop down there. Nice and easy. Continue to walk through here. And here's a rope. Now, let's check. Can I drop? Can I skip this rope? Mm, doesn't look like it. All right, so let's climb on down. Or should I say slide on down? get immense rope burn on our hand. There we go. Alright, and now I'm just gonna continue this way. Now I don't think there are any enemies. Ah, yeah, because we're right here. 
Oh, nice. Rope. Too bad we're already full on rope. Can I make anything with the rope? Rabbit skin. Oh, I have deer skin and raccoon. Mm, oh. Two deer and a rope equals a water skin. Hello. Hey, that's pretty good. Now I can uh, hold up some nice water. Ooh, let's light this fire some more. All right. Lit the fire. Got some gas cans here. And now the gas cans are used for the chainsaw. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. Listen to her. Now, as you can see down there, it says gas empty and full. Uh, and that's what you use the gas cans for. Sadly, you can only carry like five, apparently. All right. Uh, but having it idle apparently does not use any gas, but only when you rev it like this does it actually use gas. So now that we've come up with you, blah, 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 blah. Now, that, now that we've gotten what we came for, we can now head home and give this puppy a real test. Although I do need to take my lighter out because I am in the dark again. So let's just let's just keep the chainsaw out. Why not? Okay, we gotta climb the rope. Never mind. Climb an axe out. Now we can climb all the way right back up here. It's not really that far, you know, which is why you can obviously hop down. But the climbing up, unless you wanted to build a like Rube Goldberg, you know, like contraption of random objects, you know, like campfires and tents and that to climb back up, uh, you do need the climbing axe. This is not where we came in from. We'll save that for another time. There's probably something good over there, but, uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh. The exploding stalagmites. You smack them with anything, and they just explode in the various large, rocky chunks. Or if you were to stand on one of these small ones, swing down, it explodes, jumps you upwards. You know, look at that! Light this fire. That way they can stay warm. Right? You're cold. Yep, well, I lit you a fire. All right. Let's see if we can find the way out of here. Nope, that's not it. Where we just came from. Circuit board. Whoop. Now those rocks are loud when they explode. Right back through the bat jump scare tunnel. And just through here is Little Rock area. All right. That was that's pretty easy. Except for well the getting the getting the climbing axe was a. Uh, a near-death experience, but the chainsaw, that was really easy. But of course, we needed to get the climbing axe before we could get the chainsaw. So now let's go test this uh, chainsaw out. Alright, uh, here I am in front of uh, hmm, some trees just in front of our house. Now just to show the comparison of how good the chainsaw really is, here is our crafted axe, basically the best axe we have currently. I mean, of course, we can get better, but uh... Let's just see how long it takes to chop down a pretty average sized tree with it. Alright, making a little progress here. Almost through. And alright. So it takes a it takes a couple swings. But now let's go to a much larger tree and let's just use the chainsaw real quick. Oh. There we go. And voila. The chainsaw is amazing. Uh, here's a Bam, it's down. You can just fell trees like no tomorrow with this thing. Now, of course, it does use the fuel, but you can find the fuel anywhere. Well, not literally, but you can find it basically anywhere. And, you know, one jug will chop down like tons of trees. Alright, so let's quick get the cart so we can uh, not waste those logs. And we'll quick put those to use in the cabin but yeah the the chainsaw is just amazingly good uh because you can find the fuel anywhere and of course like with basically anything in the game it you know infinitely regenerates so the thing is with the caves uh for those of you who don't know uh you can find a whole lot of stuff in there uh snack you know soda alcohol a lot of good stuff uh and it respawns every time you enter the cave so say you go into cave a and it has like 10 cans of soda in it 
Well, you go in, pick them all up. In fact, I'm a little hungry here. Let's eat the fish. All right, so you pick up all your soda cans, you leave the cave, and then you go right back in, and all the soda cans should be right back uh, where they were. All right, is that all the logs? Nope, there's another two logs right over here. Oh, no, three logs. That one was hiding. One bonus log. Great. Because sometimes uh, the trees can drop five logs instead of four. So normally to fill a cart, you only need, you know, three trees. But if one of those drops, you know, uh, a fifth log, well, now you just have this uh, bonus log. All right, well, let's get this back to the cabin. Can't forget the bonus log. And now let's put all these up on the cabin and see how many more we need after this. And we need 50 more. So we'll probably be able to finish this in the next episode. Have we gotten any water? Nope. Oh well. But I think we can if we take this pot, go up to here, fill it in the lake. Weird noise for it to make. But then we can... Uh, light the fire see here Boom. place the pot on the fire and I think we can actually take our water skin here and fill it up and voila now we have a filled water skin and then we can go take the pot again fill it up again put it back on the stove although to be honest we really didn't uh, boil it long enough for this to be clean water but, you know, video game logic, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, yeah, now we have more portable liquid instead of just soda. I'm going to leave that there. Actually, you can add meat to it. This is spoiled meat. Oh, no, no, no. Take that out. Shoot. I think I added one of our dried meat. Oh, well. Doesn't really matter. Can I add? No, I just ate it. Great. So, uh, I guess we're just stewing a chunk of meat. Which was already dried. Oh dear. Can I get a two for two on spear throwing? Come on. No, I cannot. Or maybe I can. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right. So, uh, we can't pick up that spear. We already have a spear. All right. Well, let's get some more deer skin. All right. Two for two. I am getting better at this. All right. Meat. Is that a raccoon? Ah, uh, it's too far away now. What the hell? What happened here? Did the pot empty itself? I don't, I don't like that. Oh, and look! Our blueberry bushes grew! Hey! So now we can see, uh... Ah, put away the pot, you dingus. There, take the spear out. So now you can, we can eat from the berry bush the three times, and then now that it's empty, you just poke it. Now we should have some more blueberry bush seeds, right? Maybe not. Maybe they don't produce seeds when they're this young. Hmm. I guess I shouldn't have eaten it then. Whoopsie, oh well, we have plenty more bushes. But, uh, yep. I think that will do it for this episode of uh, The Forest. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. All that good stuff really helps out the channel. Comment your favorite part down below. Really enjoy that. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, let's do a quick save, though, so I don't forget. Now that we're all saved. Uh, yeah, that's where I'm going to end it for today. So I'll see you all in the next episode of Whatever I Make. Bye-bye. <laughs>